Hello and welcome to the third round of the Las Vegas Challenge. This is the first Pro Tour event of the year. We are on the front nine and today is cut day, folks. Um, so that means the top 29 ladies in the field will make it. My name is Madison Walker. And I'm Erica Stinchcomb. And we're the two hockeys. Honk. If you're curious why uh, we call ourselves that, we'll tell you when we have more time. Uh, it's a lengthy story, but it's enough about us. We are looking forward to playing the infinite course again. This has never happened before. Usually we play three separate courses. This time we get two. We've never gotten another chance to attack. Katrina Allen, commanding lead right now. Her birdie rate is 33%. Uh, she shot a 10 down yesterday, averaging 1,000 for the event. Unbelievable. After two rounds to do back-to-back 1,000 -back rated. Hina, also greens and regulation, look at that 69%. That is unbelievable. She's putting herself in position. She just needs to let the putts drop. Yeah, she finished with the turkey yesterday too, so I'm sure she's feeling confident. Missy Gannon shot seven over yesterday at the end of the course. Um, let's see, 50% scramble rate, 75% circle one putting, so looking pretty solid all around. You guys know Ella Hansen is one of the biggest arms in the field. She's always eagling, I swear. Every Doesn't she have one eagle per round yes, so far? Yes, statistically. Like, Yes. <laughs> uh, OB rate six percent, so she's keeping it in bounds, and that's what you gotta do, especially on a course like what we're playing today. Hole one is a nice little short starting hole at 233 feet. There is that out of bounds hazard area short of the basket. Most people are gonna throw a mid range, maybe something overstable, and try to crash into the green. Hopefully, not skip too much. Conditions were a little bit better today than we've seen. It was kind of warm but then it would get cold and mm -hmm. then warm again and the Chilly wind breeze. was down for the most part it picks up steadily as the round goes on i would say that putter is just as common as a mid-range as well Ooh, that was a great shot katrina throwing her sp breaker Henna with the Star AVR X3. It's been fun to see Katrina and Henna all three rounds so far, and that is parked. I wouldn't be surprised if Henna threw a standstill off this team. Yeah. <laughs> like her little back backwards patent pending. Mm -hmm. Missy playing super solid, just like she always does. Nice to see her on the lead card today. She's going to find herself in circle two, a little on the short side here. Kind of a death putt. I think it was intentional. It was a buzz OS. So it seems like she was just trying to get in bounds, not mess around. Ella taking a more aggressive route, not trying to skip super hard, and she'll find herself just barely safe in bounds. Yeah, she's messing around. <laughs> Missy, somewhere in between a putt and a layup, will take the par. 25% of the field with a birdie, getting this hole dialed in. Ella starting out in the green. Big news on hole one. The first ace of the tournament was thrown today by Sai Ananda. I was warming up when it happened. Crowd went wild. What an epic shot. No, great way to start the round. Yeah, can you imagine? That's so cool. One hole, one shot, you know. And that's three birdies on our lead card to yeah, start they were out all the round. Pretty much bullseyes too. Really perfect drives. Hole two is another par three, 333 feet. You do tee over some out of bounds or rather hazard area. Uh, you see most ladies gonna throw um, the right side gap, throw out to the right, try to get basically level with this little hill and then kind of skip towards the basket. Uh, if you are a little inside, a lot of these kind of shrubs can get in your way and block you. There's one palm too that just eats discs. There is an OB line to the right that comes into play if you turn it over too much. Um, the wind was right to left, so kind of pushing right-handed backhand shots towards the pin. It was a pretty helpful wind. Whew, smoked. Yeah, Katrina coming in hot with lots of spin. We saw her yesterday landing with a lot of ground action, really perfecting those hyzer angles. And working the wind, I think, too. Kept it in the air. This is really high from Henna and maybe a little too inside, but, but still really good. Yeah, still putting from circle two for a birdie. A 
Ella throwing her S-line cloud breaker. Gets some good ground play and is inside the circle for an, a birdie. And I know you know what Missy's throwing. The Thrasher. Mm -hmm. Also, just a touch high and early, but everyone over the berm, I guess you could call it. So a little fun fact, hole two in round one when we played this course, the conditions were so difficult that we had no birdies Ooh. in the FPO field. And look at it. Look at everyone with a putt for birdie right now. It says a lot about us figuring it out the holes and also just the really nice calm conditions. Man, Missy was only one inch short on that putt. And I'm not really super close on her putt. Going to take a par. Let's see if Katrina can dial it in. Straddle jumper. Almost. Yeah, lots of chains. Almost 20% of the field getting a birdie today. <laughs> Zero chains. Oh, There's lots of basket. <laughs> little reaction cam. <laughs> Ella going to a knee, getting around this little shrub, and a two for two start. The only person on the lead card to get that birdie. Nice momentum going two down through two. Love that. Yeah, it's going to take that kind of play to catch Katrina. I mean, she has, she came in with, what, a five stroke advantage today, and she's won this event before multiple times, so it's going to take what, everything these ladies have to catch her. Couple of tap-ins and we head to hole three, our first par four of the day. It's kind of a challenging tunnel shot here. We did have a bit, wasn't it a headwind? Mm -hmm. We had a yes. bit of a headwind on this hole today. It was um, tough because it was a little bit right to left. So if you let your disc Kaiser out, it could very easily get pushed out of bounds over that out of bounds cart path to the left or to the top of this graphic that you see here. Most people are gonna try to land right around that little teeing area and then have about 350 feet to the basket from there. A lot of the landing zone is gravelly, so it can make that second shot really tough to get the big distance you need to get yourself a putt for birdie. There's also lots of kind of side hills and things that make the footing difficult. Uh, this is a great play from Ella to turn one over. You do bring the trees into play, but it's super safe the whole time. Uh, and she got way up there. Yeah, she's past the gravel I was talking about and in the grass where she won't have to worry about footing. But Easily over 400 feet. Yeah, about 200 left to the pin. Katrina taking a little bit more of a hyzer line. And this can get dangerous because that cart path does come in right there, but she's very safe. Yeah, so good and at land. also well in front of that uh, little drop zone area. Yeah, she's really in control of the spin because she's been coming in super hot and that one just landed so nice and soft. Oh, look at this line. Dang, it mm. drifted a little more than I thought. I thought it was a little bit more center cut. Tangled up in the one bush. Still birdieable from there potentially as long as she has, you know, a relatively clear run up. Missy taking a bit of a higher line. And, and landing on the T surface, right. that's ideal for uh, most of the mere mortal distance <laughs> in the uh, FU field. That's why I look up to Missy so much. Like, I can throw as far as she can. But why does she beat me every time? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was the fourth most difficult hole, and it comes down to this second shot. We won't see too many people struggling with it. Um, Katrina's going to have a little bit of a downhill slope, but look at Missy laying it up inside the circle for her birdie. Yeah, almost bullseye. Really well done. And kind of, oh, yeah. Really kind of pinched on that bush. Uh oh Gets a backwards roll. And stay in the grass. She might have to contend with the gravel on her third shot. Kind of a strange reaction. She's clipped that bush that was, I think her hand smacked it. Katrina, you can see like, Light footing, letting her arm do most of the work, and she gets up inside the circle for her birdie as well. Yeah, smooth shot. Starting to see the gallery come out in force here on moving day. Got to thank everybody who came out and 
all the volunteers. This is always a very... Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hong Kong. Yeah, Mad and I coming in hot. <laughs> Just wanted a closer look. <laughs> We wanted to get you guys some insider info for this afternoon. That was crazy. Did she split the geese? It sure looks like it. <laughs> some air traffic. <laughs> and Hannah's third shot in the circle for par. Yeah, Ella lays up her second shot as well for a birdie. She's laughing at our jokes as we flew by. Totally. <laughs> Hannah to save par. Nice oh, putt. yeah. So clutch. Only 12% of the field getting birdies on this one. That is seven out of our 59 competitors in the field. Pretty similar to round one. Katrina getting birdies both days. Yeah, the first day it was windier, as we said, and the best score was a three down. Uh, from Katrina, I think we're going to see a lot more ladies under par today. Ella makes good on her perfect three for three start. Oh, that's such a good way to start on this course. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of holes on this course that aren't necessarily as reachable, so it's good to get them when you can, nice and early. Mm -hmm. This looks perfect. Off the basket. Now it's rolling. It's headed for the OB. This needs to sit. Oh my goodness. It's safe. Right on the line. She's going to have about a 30 foot putt for the win. Okay, here we go. The putt is up. Boom. It's in. Strong side with authority. What an incredible moment. Yes. Four is another par three, 381 feet. Uh, downhill, so very reachable for everyone in the field. OB golf green, short left. There's a hazard over there too, but you never really see that come into play. The biggest danger is hanging it out too far to the right uh, and kind of going OB over that cart path that wraps around. It's an elevated basket, but for once it's not on a hill, so you can kind of putt at it with a little bit more confidence than every other hole on the course. Normally this hole has a tailwind, but today it was more of a head slash left to right cross. Kind of a scary hole to get um, get crazy with a distance drive here, because if you show the underside of that disc, it could definitely hold right near that out of bounds cart path. This played us the third most difficult hole in the day, which is very surprising, but I think that wind probably had a lot to do with it. Katrina making it look like it's not even close to a big deal at all though. Yeah, she threw her, I think it's Banzai. And maybe that bonsai? sounds dumb. I said Banzai and someone corrected me. So I, anyway, it's only available <laughs> on Katrina Allen's website if you're interested. Apparently it uh, parks, you know, fairly difficult holes. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for buying um, FPO Tour Series Discs. It really does help keep us on the road. It, we're always trying to prove that women can sell discs too. So anytime you guys are purchasing an FPO Tour Disc, it really means a lot to every single person in the field. And uh, swinging it out wide, and these ladies are all making this hole look pretty easy. I mean... Is that everyone inside the circle? Yes, and only 13% of the field got to circle one in regulation. So the fact that we just saw four for four is... Sweet. It's crazy. Ella first up on her birdie bid. Yeah, only seven. She is just outside, actually, and one inch low. That's crazy. Only seven people in the field got to circle one, and we watched four. Three. Three. Ella was just outside. Okay. Hannah's putt looking great. Mm -hmm. Super confident on that elevated basket. It's so interesting, too. She's, like, all arm <laughs> and spin. I swear, like, she doesn't move from <laughs> the rest of her body. It's just her arm, it looks like. Katrina in there for a birdie as well to go three down on the round. Yep, not letting Ella run away with it. And Missy with a birdie too. Three out of four is so good on this hole.
pole five at another par three, 378, this time slightly uphill. Uh, most women gonna take the left gap um, that the drone is flying and throw a turnover shot to try to get all the way to the pin. That uh, bunker is a hazard. There is a cart path behind it that doesn't often come into play unless you really crank something over. There is a hyzer gap off the tee as well, but you need really elite level power to get all the way there in the hyzer route, I think. I believe this one was kind of that right to left crosswind. Yeah, a little bit taily. Yeah. Katrina turning over her pro line, Katrina Allen Vortex, and gets inside, or at least to circle's edge. Very well done. Yeah, it's the best to um, err on the left side here. The right side, you can get tangled up with some low hanging branches but it's still fairly clear on both sides of that big center tree. Missy landing in probably the most typical spot, just a little short in circle two. I bet she, she'll give that a run though. Henna S line FD, good angle and good ground play. Oh, that's so crazy to see people driving inside the circle on this one. Ella going forehand. You don't see that too often. No, you don't. Oh, nobody made it to circle one in regulation in round one and only 13% of the field to circle two. So look at these crushers go. <laughs> <laughs> that just picked up and rolled and didn't really go anywhere. It just stayed <laughs> rolling for a while. Ella for birdie. And she's looking so consistent and so solid. Yeah, her misses are just barely off. See if Missy can ring up a, a big one. Not quite. So close to adding some more green to the scorecard, but just a little low all this, over the basket. I mean, this is definitely in that bonus break territory. I, for me anyway. Definitely. Only five people getting to circle one in regulation. The fact that we have two on this card is Again, insane. Oh man, nice. Yep, Katrina, one of only three birdies on the day. And four down through five. I know, stacking them up and getting the ones that you that no one else gets. Four other people get. <laughs> two, wait, two, two. Math, two. <laughs> Numbers, honk. <laughs> and moving on to the triple island hole. Ugh, just everyone's favorite hole on the property. <laughs> we had a pretty nice headwind today. There's three islands. You can jump putt to each island one at a time and take your par, but that's boring. And a lot of people will try to go for that second island. Not a lot of people are gonna go big because if you land out of bounds, you have to go to the first drop zone, which is at the far side of the first island and so on and so forth for every out of bounds stroke. The wind was kind of swirly here, mm -hmm. actually, because I literally wrote head, then tail, then it oh, just yeah. erased it, remember? Uh, oh, yeah. Katrina going to be just on the right side, out of bounds. Uh, so she will have to go to the first drop zone. Most of the time, you're going to lay up to the second island and just take your bogey. Though we did see Rebecca Cox on our card go from the drop first drop zone and land on the last island to save part. It was so cool. It was sick. Missy with the same mistake. She went for it off the tee. She did, went I know. Went to the first drop zone and then went for the green again. Baller. It was so baller. This plate is the most difficult hole both days that we played this course. Henna throwing her fun little standstill shot and landing safe. So good. And way up there too. That should be, hopefully be an easy layup for a birdie. Ella going forehand. There's not as much room on this side to play something out. You have to flex something. You see her with kind of a little nose up flexy shot. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I think it was just a bit too high. Mm -hmm. The wind kind of lifted it. Right so. idea, just a little too much on it. Henna, the only one safe. Everyone else gonna proceed to this drop zone that's only 80 feet off the tee maybe. And Katrina just going with that jump putt to the second island and submitting for the bogey. <laughs> Missy may be shorting it just a little bit, but she's fine. And Ella 
looking like she's lining up the same thing. You can throw the, these shots a hundred times in a field, never mess them up and then get to this hole and just do the worst one you've ever done in your life. <laughs> it's bizarre. There's like a vortex around hole six. <laughs> Missy kind of does the same thing. She's laughing at herself, but she's fine. Katrina's fourth shot as well with the OB. If you don't land safe on this shot, it's very punishing. You have to go from the second drop zone until you land safe on the third and final island. And that second drop zone is outside the circle. It's at, oh shoot, probably, I don't know, 50, something like that. Hannah lays up really nicely on her second shot inside the bullseye for another birdie. And that's to get two on Katrina. Ella is safe as well for her bogey. This is such a classic birdie or bogey hole. 35% mm -hmm. of the field with a birdie and 53% with a bogey or worse. Mm. Only 12% pars, and those are people that are probably jump putting from island to island. Yep. Which is smart now that I've bogeyed it both rounds. Oh, it's <laughs> I love that play. I can't, I can't stand it. I, I know, refuse. I, I don't know. care how windy it is. I'm going to the second island. <laughs> but you're right. It's smart. <laughs> I admire you how much you stick to your game plan. And everyone just kind of tapping in their bogeys. Henna mm, with a birdie to go three down. That's a two-stroke swing for Henna. Everyone else on the lead card. Still six strokes back of Katrina, though. Speaking of which, let's check in. Katrina, Henna, Missy, Ella all holding their spots. Haley King having a good round, though. Four down so far through seven. Uh, let's see. Caroline, Caroline Henderson. All, yep, yep. Five down. And everyone else sitting around the even par area in this infinite discourse. Macy Vela Diaz and Karina Nows both under par as well. Yeah, still playing a little tougher than the end of the course. Hole 7 is a par 3. It's downhill, 358 feet. I believe it was a... Well, what kind of wind was it today? Left to right, mostly. Mm -hmm. uh, so you kind of just wanted to hang it out to the right and then let the natural disc fade of the disc, bring it over to the left. Um, one of the biggest issues is if you land inside the circle, a lot of these trees can, you know, just impede your putt. Um, the other biggest mistake you can make is just blasting it too straight and there's an OB cart path maybe 40 45 feet past the basket that's surprisingly easy to find yeah especially if you show the underside of your disc that wind will carry you straight forever I like Henna's play there there's a little bit more open route to the basket from that side this is probably the more typical play it's a little bit more inside and Katrina gets some really nice ground action hopefully that it's a little bit of an, isn't in her way. Yeah, it's a little bit of an awkward downhill putt there. You almost want to take a knee. Missy hanging out it out wide. Ooh, catching the the lone stump and getting a very weird roll. Yeah, but that went really bounce. straight. It was a Zeus. Um, at least she's safe. Whoa, huge skip for Ella. Ooh. And settles really nicely at about 20 feet. That was an FD1. God, I love Ella shades. <laughs> right? They're so good. Missy just gonna lay up here. No problem for the par. Henna from, what, 45, 48 feet. Gives it a bit of a run and stays close. Almost 20% of the field getting birdies on this hole, and that's doubling what um, the field did on the first day. Nice favorable wind. Oh, yeah, great putt from Katrina. Who cares about the wind when you can putt like that? Extending her lead by another one. Man, Ella's so close for her birdie. No! Kind of got nubbed. Definitely got nubbed. I mean, it was too low, but still. 
Everyone else going to just take pars on this sloped green of hole seven. It's one of the ones that you really do want to get, but the next hole is a bit of a soft par five where there's room to make up some strokes as well. Definitely. Hole eight, a little gap you have to shoot through. There's some low hanging branches. If you're trying to take the linear route that can come into play, some people will go over the top, but you do want to have ultimately a hyzer finish on the disc. Try to get some ground play around the corner. There's a cart path down the left-hand side that's out of bounds. Um, but it's pretty difficult to find unless you get some crazy skips. Your second shot, you want to either lay up before the water and the green or play across that green. There's some safe area. Or if you are a baller, go straight for the green on your second shot and get that eagle. I bet we'll see at least one or two of these ladies go across for the eagle. This is a huge shot from Katrina. That's her SP swirl I mean, torrent. That was a smash. Also exclusive on her website, not a paid ad. <laughs> Henna, I'm sure trying to go big here with her Star Destroyer. That's the most common mistake we see here. Mm -hmm. It still is fine, but it just makes it a lot more difficult to go for the green on your second shot and go for that eagle. Yeah, it forces more of a tight turnover line. I wonder if she'll, she'll go for it. I know in round one, we watched her go all the way over the green deep of the basket. Um, yeah. Kind of a safe play to just get over all of that OB, take it out of the equation. Yeah, it makes for an easy birdie if you get all the way across. Missy with her ESP Zeus getting out there nicely. That game plan is reserved for the big arms. Ella. Uh -oh. With a cloud breaker early and just brutal kick straight down. If she has a big second shot, she can still lay up before the green and birdie. Like mm -hmm. Madison said, this is a pretty soft par five, which I'm into. I don't want them to change it. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. I think they're going to make some, that was a good shot from Ella, some significant course changes next year is the rumor that I heard since this is an FPO specific course. So maybe design it a little bit more for us rather than MPO. Mm -hmm. so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, Henna getting all the way across, even farther left than we saw, not quite all the way across actually yeah. in round one. Across laterally, not deep. But she should only have maybe 100 feet left, probably less. Missy playing out to the side as well. Both of them will just pitch across this green to the little bowl where the basket is. It does kind of slope off to the out of bounds marsh as well. Yeah, if you come in with too much steam, it can definitely trickle OB. Katrina going for the green. Absolutely. Ooh. I thought it was short for a second, but it's perfect. Ramps over the hill, flirts with the green, but checks up inside the circle. She's got, what, a 25-footer for Eagle? For Eagle. Two wasn't enough for her yesterday. Ella throwing her third shot to the green. Opting for the sidearm as well. Yeah, Ella, one of the best players uh, regarding having power for both the backhand and the forehand. And a, the touch, too. Yeah, yeah, that was a great touch. This green can very easily skip your disc into out-of-bounds to the right. Missy's third. Parks it. This plate is one of the easier holes of the day with 50% of the field taking a birdie. Henna lays up just outside the bullseye. Ella to save birdie. Boom. Wow, great putt. No right. doubts. Yep, right on the pole. <laughs> Did that drone look really close? <laughs> <laughs> oh, off the band for Eagle. She'll have a tap in birdie. Dead center, just high. Kind of a tweener. Hard to birdie if it's a par four, really easy if it's a par five. And we'll see 
Star frame. Yep, four birdies. And hole nine, the biggest change on the course, kind of a weird <laughs> tee shot because you're throwing straight up and over these trees and trying to get something to turn a little bit to the right um, before fading back to the left. It's even the big arms I think have trouble getting to this one because you kind of have to throw high. Um, you are teeing over an OB area. The wind was definitely more favorable today than it was in round one, kind of a left to right. So kind of helping your disc turn I'll be interested to see the stats if anyone got to circle one today. Yeah, played as the third most difficult hole in round one. With, okay, there's one. <laughs> yeah, with the tough conditions, only one person getting a birdie and two getting to circle one. So let's see what these calm conditions give us. Hannah with great power. And that's two. Yeah, that's two. Well, sorry for the mild spoiler. <laughs> No, two inside the circle. Yeah, but. Oh, that was only that was in round one. Oh, in round uh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, today we had nine percent of the field getting okay. to circle one. Okay, which my is bad. Five competitors. No spoilers here. <laughs> Missy, a little short left. Pretty typical landing area. Ella going Big. to the sky. Heiser line, so impressive. And she's there. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? I can dream. <laughs> I oh. promise if you normal people went to try this, it would be harder than they make it look, which is why they're on lead card. Very impressive. <laughs> Bullseye on the hyzer line. That just blew my mind. Missy having to deal with some bushes sh on the short side of the green. Hannah catching some chains for her birdie. Hannah going to end the front nine with a four down it looks like and she left a few putts out there too wow <laughs> wow <laughs> wow one bogey one par everything else birdie and a missed eagle too katrina just in control katrina and ella two out of only four birdies on the day on this very challenging newly designed hole nine. Oh man, my bad. I am, yep. I I'm, just assumed you, you yeah. kind of have to make those. She's been, she's been very comfortable on the green with the short putts, but old habits die hard. Yeah. Rough way to end in the front nine. Especially landing in the circle on the drive. And that wraps up the front nine. Looking at the leaderboard, our lead card ladies are going to hold on to their spots. But yep. Haley King storming up the leaderboard. Five down through ten. So impressive. Oh. Holland Hanley also playing super solid. Alexis Mandahano as well. We you guys know her from the All-Star event, a putting machine. <laughs> Caroline uh, Henderson, newer face to tour, really hanging in there and doing well in the top 10. Macy Villadiaz, Sarah Gilpin, Karina Knowles, Lisa Vegas, all under par. Ali Smith, five down, a lot more under par. Mm -hmm. Aria Castorita as well. Yep, got, getting this course figured out and loving this calm conditions. We got nine more holes. Um, the back nine is, I think, the tougher nine, personally. Sure. So we'll see maybe some more movement, but this is cut day. Again, the top 29 make it to round four and return to the end of a course. Um, yeah, so we got nine more holes and a whole round tomorrow. I hope you guys are enjoying the two hot geese. We love you guys. Thanks again to the Founders Club. Um, you guys know how much we appreciate you already, Ryan Pilcher. And we appreciate Corky. you. <laughs> Um, until next time, I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. <laughs> Honk. <laughs>